Morning guys. So today I thought we could do a reading from the language of letting go. You may have heard me read from this before and you know how inspiring and wise this book can be. So today is June 28 and here's the reading for today. It's called When Things Don't Work. Frequently, when faced with a problem, we may attempt to solve it in a particular way. When that way doesn't work, we may continue trying to solve the problem in the same way. We may get frustrated, try harder, get more frustrated, and then exert more energy and influence into forcing the same solution that we have already tried and that didn't work. That approach makes us crazy. It tends to get us stuck and trapped. It's the stuff that unmanageability is made of. We can get caught in this same difficult pattern in relationships, in tasks, or in any area of our life. We initiate something, it doesn't work, it doesn't flow, then we feel badly, then we try the same approach but harder, even though it's not working and flowing. Sometimes it's appropriate not to give up and try harder. But sometimes it's more appropriate to let go, detach, and stop trying so hard. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't flow, maybe life is trying to tell us something. Life is a gentle teacher. She doesn't always send neon road signs to guide us. Sometimes the signs are more subtle. Sometimes not working may be a sign. So, let go. Let go. If we have become frustrated by repeated results that aren't producing the desired results, we may, be, we may be trying to force ourselves down the wrong path. We may be trying to force ourselves down the wrong path. Oh, I've done that. Sometimes a different solution is appropriate. Sometimes a different path opens up. Often, the answer will emerge more clearly in the quietness of letting go than it will in the urgency, frustration, and desperation of pushing harder. So my friends, learn to recognize when something isn't working or flowing. Step back and wait for clear guidance. By the way, you can also ask for guidance. So here's an affirmation for today. Today, I will not make myself crazy by repeatedly trying solutions that have proven themselves unsuccessful. If something isn't working, I will step back and I will wait for guidance. So again, this is The Language of Letting Go by Melanie Beattie. Every day there's a reading. I love this book. So that reading really resonated for me today because I've been feeling some frustrations, some challenges, specifically in my relationship. And I realize that I have the tendency to want to like fix things and like force and control things to go in a certain way, but I'm coming to realize and appreciate that that's not my job. My job is just to love. And most of all, my job is to take care of myself and make sure that I'm in a good space because I can't really support the people I care about in the way that I want if I'm not well in myself, if I haven't tended to my home, 
to my body, to my mind, to my spirituality, you know, to the garden of myself. When you don't tend a garden, it becomes overgrown with weeds. Weeds being the things we don't necessarily want. The things that we don't want to grow. So, I have been a person who's always trying to push and go and try harder and, you know, make it happen. And now I am much more of the philosophy of balancing making it happen with letting it happen. I've been very much on a journey to learn how to slow down. Maybe you know from watching my videos. I've been on a journey to learn to surrender, to stop trying to control things, to control outcomes, to control emotions, to control people, to control situations, you know? The only thing I can really control is how well I take care of myself, the thoughts that I choose to entertain, the vibration that I seek to hold within myself, the things I give my attention to, you know? I can control whether or not I watch the news. I can control whether or not I let negative people into my life. I can control whether or not I take some time to sit in silence and rest and meditate, you know? These are the things that are within my control. Things that are not in my control are other people, other people's processes and journeys, what other people need to learn and go through in order to learn those things, what other people understand. In fact, it's not my job to convince what other, convince or control what other people do, believe, or think. And I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't, that's not my, that's not my job. So, let go. Letting go. In fact, letting go, like, uh, requires a lot less energy than holding on. So, you know, I really like this reading because sometimes when things don't go our way, sometimes the best thing to do is maybe even nothing. Go take a rest. Maybe I'm really tired. Maybe I'm getting frustrated because my body's tired and I haven't been listening because I'm pushing so much. You know? Can you, can you relate? So, those are my thoughts for today. Um, I'm going to be going really easy on myself today, especially. Just got my period, so that's a time to just be with myself. And actually, I'm, well, be with myself. I'm going to go share some cacao with Luke and catch up with him. I haven't seen him in a couple days between being at Matt's and then he's been in silence. In June, he was in silence for three days out of every week. So it'll be nice to just be present and slow down and just share some cacao and some time with a friend. So let me know in the comments below, does this reading resonate for you? What challenges do you have with letting go and control? And what could surrender look like for you? What, w what would it mean if we stop pushing so much, trying to force an answer and just let life just reveal itself to us, re reveal the answer to us? Because the fastest path is not necessarily the best. That's something I've had to learn. So, all right, guys, my love to you. I hope you have a beautiful day. And no matter what you choose, love yourself. And know that I love you.